Android 1.6 enables applications to be rendered properly on different display resolutions and densities. Developers can also specify the types of screens supported by the applications. Android 1.6 includes support for CDMA in the telephony stack. Support for new screen sizes and CDMA means Android can run on even more devices and networks. Quick Search Box allows users to search the web and their phone directly from the home screen. It provides suggested results from the web even while the user is still typing. Quick Search Box provides relevant contextual information like local business listings as suggestions without having even to launch the browser. Users can also find answers to common queries with Quick Search Box, for example, local weather. Users can search for information managed by applications, like contacts, but they can also take actions such as call Adams Mobile. Users control how Quick Search Box works on their phone. For example, they can select what types of content is included in their searches. The search framework provides developers a way to easily expose relevant content from their applications. Here's an app for letting users track what books they have read. The developer made the app searchable from the Quick Search Box by author name and provided suggestions. Android 1.6 includes a text-to-speech API. This API uses a multilingual speech synthesis engine that allows applications to speak text strings with the right accent. The initial set of supported languages is available to users from Android Market. In Android Market, we're making it even easier for users to find great apps from developers. The latest version of Market improves overall discoverability. Users can quickly choose among apps, games and downloads. In the category view, they can explore the top paid, top free and titles that just came in. And with each app or game, users can now see screenshots submitted by developers as well as read the reviews from other users. To learn more about the Android 1.6 release, visit developer.android.com.